Hi, my name is Paul from Physics Hype. Today I want to give you a very quick overview of the concept of Lenz's Law. Please like, share and subscribe and maybe buy me a coffee. The link is in the description below. If you want a more fulsome discussion of Lenz's Law, please check out the link there or the link in the description below where I give a more detailed analysis. Today is just a short version of it. What is Lenz's Law? Well, Lenz's Law is related to the concept of Faraday's Law. And let's write the Faraday's Law down, which basically says that if you generate an EMF because, so we have a change of flux with respect to time that the metal is experiencing, then there's a negative sign that refers to the concept of Lenz's Law. And Lenz's Law says that whatever the EMF that is generated will always produce a polarity that opposes the one that generates it. And so one way we can describe this is using a coil. So let's say I have a coil like this and I'm going to connect this to a voltmeter and I insert a north pole and I push that into the coil. We have a magnetic field around my bar magnet and it's going to enter the coil which results in an EMF genie being generated and as a result in this case a current is produced. Now the current that is produced will always produce a magnetic field that opposes it. So as I push this in I am going to produce a north pole in this end. It's going to not want to go in. It's going to experience a force of repulsion. Now because of the fact that there's a north pole over here, that means I will generate a south pole over here. And so based on my diagram, my current is going to go from there to there. So if I pull that magnet out, the north is now moving away. That will produce a polarity here that is south to oppose it. It's moving away. It will create a force that wants to pull it back in, which will therefore oppose the change that causes it. And so therefore the current therefore that is induced is determined by what is happening over here. And it will always oppose. And as a result, that is going to be consistent with the conservation of energy because as you pull it in you require energy to push it down and so that requires energy to be produced over here. So that is Lenz's Law. Please like, share and subscribe, put a comment down below and consider supporting me by buying me a coffee. Take care, bye for now.